Today, torquing cylinder heads. WW Fly Corvair. Corvair cylinder head uses 12 head fasteners, 6 nuts, and the 6 rocker arm studs. They have a particular torque pattern that we use, and particular lubricants, and a particular torque limit. Most importantly, you do not do this with a Chinese torque wrench. Don't use a click type torque wrench. Use a beam type torque wrench, or use an electronic one. So, let's take a look at this. Top row of bolts, excuse me, top row of nuts is a 9 16th socket. The bottom row is 13 16 Here's a 13 16 socket, but to speed up the process, that 13 16 socket has a 9 16 inch nut welded on it, so I can just tighten it that way. Head is already torqued. Uh, just uh, brought up snug. Uh, starting at about 10 pounds. Set the electronic torque wrench. We're going to go up uh, in a couple of stages. Dial in 15 pounds. Just to make it interesting, we'll start the timer and uh, go through the pattern. One trip through the pattern, 53 seconds. Uh, the electronic torque wrench uh, reads out the exact uh, amount of torque. It lets out a beep and a buzz uh, when you hit the number. This is a snap-on electronic torque wrench. They're expensive, but if you're going to be a motorhead, uh, worth every penny. So, let's go up a couple of notches. We will go up just by pressing the button up. You can dial in uh, 20 foot-pounds. Let's go through that pattern. Most important point, this is a green General Motors shop manual. If you're building a car engine and building it the way that General Motors did, this is the correct torque pattern and torque setting. But this is how you hurt an aircraft motor. We do not use this manual. There are a lot of people who miss that, second owners who are working with this. You don't use a car manual to work on an airplane engine. The primary difference is you want to be using this manual right here. This manual has the correct torque pattern and sequence. This manual is about a hundred bucks. If you're too cheap to buy this manual, don't buy a Corvair motor and don't buy an airplane with a Corvair motor in it. You need this. You can't work on the motor with the wrong manual. This has revised torque settings that are much lower because we use all types of very, very modern lubricants on the studs. If you take it and torque a stud with the lubricants that we use on it to the original green manual spec, you'll pull it out of the case or break the stud off. So again, you want to save a hundred bucks and throw away your motor? Have at it. But what smart guys are doing is they're using the correct manual. This is an SPA assembly manual and if you're working on a Corvair and you don't have one, you are making a mistake. Let's take a look at the final round of torque.
about five minutes to torque ahead, including explaining it. Again, the important features. Do not use a Chinese torque wrench. Do not use a click type torque wrench. Use a beam type or use an electronic. You don't have to change sockets if you have a specialty socket, but without this it'll take a couple more minutes to swap sockets. Don't worry about it. 13 sixteenths, 9 sixteenths. Torque pattern is in the SPA manual. Do not use the green manual. The lubricants on this are ARP. If I put ARP lubricant on there and use the green manual's torque spec of 35 foot-pounds, it would pull a stud out of the case or uh, break the stud in half. The lower torque rating that we have here is pulling on the stud just as hard. It's getting just as much stretch in the stud as it always did, except it's doing it with less friction, and that's what the uh, lubricants are doing for us. So, get the correct manual and use it. Not a tough operation if you have the right tools and the right information. An impossible operation with the wrong tools, the wrong information, and the wrong attitude. Simple task. Something nice to have done. Thanks very much. WW Fly Corvair. We'll see you out on the flight line.